everyone. Welcome to our It's Learning Academy uh, remote learning webinars. This is webinar number two for the day. If you uh, are joining us, just now joining us, we are going to talk about adding courses and participants. And we are going to get started in just one minute. Uh, before we do that, I'd like to remind everybody that we do have our remote learning website up and going that shows you all of the webinars, the dates and times that we're offering them. We're offering a set of five webinars multiple times over the next few days so that you can hopefully jump on and catch one. If not, if these do not fit into your schedule, please register for a webinar anyway. We will uh, follow up with you and send you the YouTube playlist that has recordings to all of the webinars in them so you can watch them at your convenience. And then, of course, we have put in the chat box not only this information, but also our email briefings at itslearning.com. In case you have any questions after the webinar, uh, we're more than happy to answer those questions. During the webinar, though, if you have a question, please, please, please ask it. We would love to answer your questions. Uh, during the webinar, and you can do that very easily by typing your questions into the question box. All right, so we are going to get started very quickly uh, with a video. Uh, you might want to make sure that the sound is turned up on your device. The video uh, audio is just a little bit lower than uh, the GoToWebinar audio, so uh, take a moment to uh, go ahead and turn up the sound on your device. courses, how to create them, and how to add participants. To begin, click the Courses tab on the Site toolbar. The green plus button allows you to add a course. If you do not see the green plus button, then your site system administrative settings do not allow this for your profile. Select regular course type. Add a course title. Select your organization and click Save. Courses, adding participants. Under the More tab on the course toolbar, click Participants. Then click the green plus button to add a participant. Search for the participant's name. Select the correct profiles you would like to search for and click Search. Check the participant you would like to add. Check the profile that participant should be in your course and click Add. You can even add another teacher to your course by following the same steps. Ensure you check the teacher profile and click search. When you find the teacher you want to add, make sure that you check their name. And do you want to add them as a teacher or a student in your course? And then click add. Now your course has participants and you're ready to get started. All right, now that we have seen our short introduction video, we are opening up for questions. So please do not hesitate to type those questions into your question box. And we can go ahead and uh, answer those questions and show you uh, in the system live exactly how to do that. So give you a little um, additional information there on your questions. So take your time and go ahead and answer those questions or ask those questions to us now. So, Andrea, as people are um, putting their questions in that question box, can you talk a little bit about um, what courses uh, teachers may be able to create beyond the courses that the integration um, creates for them for instruction? Absolutely. So I know that it's really important during this time of e-learning that we also stay in contact with our uh, student groups. 
So if you are a, a sponsor of a student group, student council, or um, Spanish club, or something like that, uh, you might want to add a course for those students as well to keep in contact with them. And also, uh, teacher collaboration courses. You know, we're used to having conference periods or planning time, and sometimes that's kind of difficult to have now that we're in a remote um, situation. But you can certainly add a course, add those other teachers to that course, and that is a great place for teachers to be able to share lessons, to collaborate, to communicate. And then you can always copy that information out into your other courses very easily. So we have a question um, from Chad. Andrea, can I add a teacher to an existing course that my district set up? So that's a great question. It really depends. Um, it depends on whether or not your district allows that or not. Typically, you do have the ability to do that in exactly the way that we would um, go to adding a participant. But sometimes if it is an integrated course, meaning that course that's created by our master schedule or our student information system, this add button may be um, hidden. And if that's the case, then the district does not allow you to add students or teachers to, a, um, to an integrated course. Uh, I would reach out to your district administrator if this button is not there and see if they can add that teacher for you because there certainly is the ability to do that. But I know sometimes districts like to keep that participant list clean and such that it matches what's in the student information system. So there's a couple of different variables there, but um, we definitely have the ability to do that. Thanks, Andrea. We have another question from Shelby. What if you're adding a student into your course and there are two students with that name. For example, if I have a John Smith as a student, but there is another John Smith in the district, how will I know which is my student? Great question. So I can come in here and when I look at the students, you can actually click on their name and their profile pops up. And there's some information in that profile. Not all students have their pictures, but you'll be able to kind of see what your relationship is with that student. Uh, if you have them in another class, or um, you can see some of their activities. So you'll be able to see uh, that information uh, if you just click the student's name and you can get this uh, little profile card for them. And we'll give it just a few more moments to see if any other questions pop into people's minds. All right, while we are waiting to see if there are any other questions, um, don't forget that we do have the It's Learning website. Uh, take a visit there. And at the end of the webinar, you will receive a survey. We would appreciate uh, you taking a few moments to fill out the survey, give us any feedback um, on our webinars. We would greatly appreciate that. So keep that in mind when the webinar is over, you should be receiving that survey. All right, I was just informed my mistake, no survey this time. So if you have feedback for us, please email briefings at itslearning.com. We would still love to hear your feedback regarding our webinars. There's no official survey, but please email briefings at itslearning.com if you have any feedback or any additional questions. Uh, otherwise, if we don't have any questions, I don't I see any coming in. 
All right. Well, if you don't have any questions, um, I will uh, go ahead and close out the webinar. I don't want to take up uh, any more of your time. I know that um, everybody in this uh, remote learning situation is very busy. So I want to thank you for your time today, and we really appreciate it. Please join us for one of our other webinars uh, that are coming up either today or later on in the week. Thank you very much for joining us, and I hope everybody has a wonderful, relaxing weekend.